Just wanted to add one thing real quick. I just came to a, a very startling realization that it might be possible that the, the federal court in Bay City is is very much aware of what Bruce Havens did uh, when he uh, filed a notice of intent to sell, take possession in our bankruptcy and created what looked like um, a federal court ordered eviction. Um, and that, that makes me uh, anxious all by itself. Um, you know, I really, I really don't see um, an end to, to the corruption and the crimes that I'm, I'm being exposed to. So, you know, it would, it would uh, hardly shock me if this were a standardized uh, procedure or some sort of arrangement between uh, Judge Opperman and uh, Mount Pleasant lawyer uh, Bruce Havens. Anyways, I just wanted to add that. Um, I can feel the resistance at, at the state court or at the federal court level with uh, with filing. I know I know they're looking at it with uh, with really big eyes, and uh, it only took me a minute to file my my motions today, of which should be on uh, Pacer here shortly, uh, because it was filed and uh, she said I was done. I was going to wait for a copy, but uh, I'll just print it off of uh, Pacer. So anyways, I just wanted to add that um, I wouldn't be shocked to find that uh, there's there's more to the story because there, there usually is on that side, uh, especially when, when you're seeing things that are so bizarre. I mean, bankruptcy uh, for a long time has been used to uh, stall um, uh, possession issues with prop property, whether it's uh, a rental situation or a, or a purchase situation. Um, automatic stay of the bankruptcy court uh, pretty much puts everything on hold until the bankruptcy is resolved. So it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, um, it only makes sense that workarounds are created and established um, uh, probably like just what happened in our case in 2010 um, when uh, Bruce Havens created this notice of intent to sell and take possession and filed it on Monday, September uh, 20th, 2010. Uh, because we filed an objection to that when Bruce Havens filed it. It wasn't filed with a uh, notice to the parties it Wasn't filed with a proof of service and he even changed the signature block on on the notice of intent to sell and take possession to uh, To make it look more like a court order than it than it was uh, Anything else because on Monday September 20th 2010 Bruce Havens filed two documents that day uh, within a half hour of each other the first one was a uh, was a notice of appearance by Bruce, Bruce Havens that said uh, respectfully submitted and under his uh, signature there it said attorney for Shelley Sweet. Well 30 minutes later he filed this notice of intent to sell and take possession uh, where it didn't say respectfully submitted. It wasn't a motion, there was no hearing set and uh, the signature block was edited to uh, to take off any mention of attorney for Shelley Sweet which made it look uh, all that much more like a court order. So anyways, um, I, want, I want to get this out. Uh, people need to know that uh, we're losing our judiciary, folks, and, and we gotta hang on with both hands because we can't, we can't afford for all of this to spill to the streets. But that's the way it's predicted to go if we, uh, if we can't reestablish order in our courts. Anyways, more later.